a quick aspect of a more debatable topic. We've just had good summer with mangoes. We still have mangoes in Pune, and Maharashtra is known for king of fruits called Alfanzo. Need to understand the biochemistry behind the fruit which gets digested is what I feel before blaming it is good or bad. So first aspect we look at it is fruit sugar versus refined sugar, and we need not debate about it that fruit sugar is an excellent form of sugar and the fruit has adequate nutrition with it when compared to refined sugars. Fruit sugar is a combination of sucrose, fructose and glucose. The science says my body after ingesting this fruit sugar breaks down, especially the sucrose, into fructose and glucose and then it is being metabolized. Needless to say the benefits of mangoes and as just we had the previous speaker Dr. Mishra talking about no food is bad God has made that food that particular season means definitely it has its own benefits The idea and challenge is how much why who and how does that fruit behave with my body is what we need to understand more deeper Simple to understand though. It's so sweet in taste. The sweetness is because of fructose and the calories if you look at it is only 60 calories the challenge in a forum of IDEC we need to understand is the sugar content, where the carbohydrate is around 14.9 to around 15 grams. Out of that sugar is around 13.6, and let's not forget the fiber, which is 1.3. And important micronutrients of folate here, which is around 43 micrograms, and vitamin C. With these rich nutrient-based fruit, we need to understand what are the other contents of the fruit we are looking at. Because when we say total carbs, I'll highlight mango here because we're talking about mango. Total carbs is 15 around, I say. Sugar is 13.6. Fiber is 1.6. But the free glucose is 0.7. Grapes have more free glucose than mango. Fructose is 2.9. So if you look at the common fruits, apple, banana, grapes, we have lesser fructose in mango. But we have larger sucrose, 9.9, and we know that sucrose, the table sugar which we eat, is 15 per 50 percent glucose and 50 percent fructose. And going behind the scene, how does this glucose and fructose get metabolized? We all know that fructose bypasses the metabolism and enters the hepatic system and converts into glycogen. Overload of fructose, like high contrast HCFS foods, give you more triglyceride generation, but a very fair and less amount of fructose. Even if you eat four or five mangoes at one time, there's not large amount of fructose coming out of it to damage your liver and give you triglycerides. But idea is how much sucrose also is going with that fruit needs to understand because there were videos circulated eat how many fruits you want to eat mangoes diabetics can eat mangoes but behind the scene my, my mango has glucose fructose sucrose and the sucrose content is very important to understand unfortunately not much research but lately i've come up with two papers in mango is how does the mango behave in my body the glycemic response of that particular food and it has shown that the mango had least MIPG, maybe because the sucrose disaccharide to monosaccharide conversion took some time to convert then the direct glucose or fructose because grapes, oranges may have a larger way of looking at it. And that is why I think a recent article also reviewed also talked about that it can have a benefit in controlling sugar. Why? Because maybe the one amount of fruit gives you folate the antioxidants, the mangiferin, which is also an effective therapeutic agent in several, di several disorders, maybe the folate and the micronutrients present along with the fiber. But how much? This is important. So 15 grams of carbohydrates cannot be forgotten. I need to make my patient understand how to eat mango. Half a fruit with the meal of a controlled glycemic load. What is important is glycemic load of the meal, I think. And that, I think, should be more importantly emphasized in fruit like mango, it's a wonderful fruit. I can replace my carbs with fruit. I can have a bowl of salad, dal, and two mangoes. I need to eat a fruit rather than a pulp or an armrest or take it with other because I, the satiety factor when I eat fruit is little more than when I eat. So these are all small, small techniques, but behind the scenes, I cannot ask my patient to eat as many mangoes as they want. I think this is what I would conclude like it. Thank you.